Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek has launched DeepSeek V 3.1 Terminus model. They have written in their change log that DeepSeek Chat and DeepSeek Reasoner have been upgraded to the DeepSeek V 3.1 Terminus model. They say that both DeepSeek Chat and DeepSeek Reasoner have been upgraded to DeepSeek V 3.1 Terminus. DeepSeek Chat corresponds to DeepSeek V 3.1 Terminus's non-thinking mode, while DeepSeek Reasoner corresponds to its thinking mode. They say that this update maintains the model's original capabilities while addressing issues reported by users, including language consistency where reduced occurrences of Chinese-English mixing and occasional abnormal characters has been solved. The agent capabilities has further optimized the performance of the code agent and search agent. There's also some benchmarks available for it that tells us that in agentic tool, use it has seen a massive improvement, jumping from 30 to 38 in browser comp agent, along with simple QA, jumping from 93 to 97, while SWE verified, bench verified, and terminal have shown a really good improvement as well, which is quite awesome. Here is not a ton of information about why they have named Terminus. Maybe they will launch their new coding agent, as this line saying improvements to code agent is trying to say, but it may be a wrong interpretation. So, I'm not sure. You should already see the improvement if you're using the official endpoints even if it is via open router or something. I was already seeing a ton of improvements in the new version already, but now it's even better, and it actually works well. And even with reasoning, it works well. You can use it as a coder yourself by just going to Kilo code or whatever you wish to use. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. But Kylo Code has a free $25 credit, which will come in handy for you to give it a try. So, you can just click this settings, and then you can just go ahead and select the official DeepSeek chat endpoint, and then select the provider as well. That is how it works, and you can go ahead and check it out. It's really great at tool calling now, and coding in general is now really great with this. So, yeah. This is kind of cool. This model is not yet available on Hugging Face, which is interesting because it might be that they have just upgraded it with like deployment changes like system prompt or, you know, fixing the VLLM server stuff and things. I can see that in longer context, it is now better, especially in tool calling. The price and stuff is still the same. So, it's not any new model. It's just slightly improved. It might be that we may see a tool to use this model, but that is still not confirmed. I think that since this has a new name, it must be for something new. It's just my thought, and I may be wrong. But we'll see what happens. Another thing that's changed is the DeepSeek's interface. So you can use this new model in DeepSeek's chat interface for free. And if you see, then the interface is now slightly changed. It doesn't have that solid background anymore. It's a bit more moody and glowy around the text box here. And it also now has some good interfaces and animations for thinking. And it's just overall better. It's also much more snappier now from the little use that I have done. So, it might be a rewrite, 
because their previous UI was a bit buggy, but this seems much more snappier and fleshed out, which is quite awesome. You can try out this new model here as well for free and check it out. It's a bit slow, especially the reasoning thing is still slow, but you can't complain because their interface and everything is free. You should see third-party support for this as well. When the weights drop, and other providers like Parasail, Hyperbolic, or Shoots start supporting it. So, there's that. I'll test it, and wait for more details on this, and then update you guys in the next video. So, watch that when it comes out. I'll also try to check it with agents now, and see what performance I'm getting because it seems to be now much more focused on the agentic stuff. Let's see when we get more details, and if we also see some kind of coding agent with it or not. If you compare it to models like Sonnet, you'll see that it's not only keeping up, but actually beating them in some agentic benchmarks. I mean, the browser comp jump from 30 to 38 is pretty insane, and simple Kuei going from 93 to 97 is a great deal for an open model. SWE Verified and Terminal Bench are also up, so it's not just a one-off improvement. It's actually better across the board. And if you're someone who likes to test out new models as soon as they drop, you'll appreciate how easy it is to get started with DeepSeek Terminus, especially since you can use it for free in their chat interface. Another thing worth mentioning is that the longer context handling is now way better. If you've ever tried to feed a huge prompt or a big chunk of code into DeepSeek before, you probably noticed it would struggle or slow down. With Terminus, that seems to be mostly fixed, and you can run much longer sessions without things getting weird. That's a pretty solid upgrade, especially for anyone who does a lot of in-depth coding or research. The interface updates are also nice. The new moody, glowy look around the text box is a welcome change, and the animations for thinking and processing make it feel more modern. It's snappier, less buggy, and just feels more fleshed out overall. I mean, I liked it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.